Uh, Helen Back, that's a new one from the Airborne Toxic event. Uh, welcome back to San Diego. I haven't seen you since Coachella. Coachella, yeah, when we we played a thing at the house. Good to see you. It's good to see you, too. Um, we were just talking about buses. We're sitting on the United Rex tour bus, yeah. and you think you've arrived now, that the Airborne Toxic event has arrived because you have a slider on your Yeah, bus we have now. this thing that like where the, the, the side of the bus comes out, and then the thing the hallway goes from being like three feet wide to six feet wide. We got that, and we were like, we are balling. <laughs> we were like, screw it, man. We started destroying guitars on stage. That's amazing. And then our tour manager's like, no, you really no, no, shouldn't no, no, do no. that. You still have to pay for those things. <laughs> right. Well, well uh, actually, Fender pays for us. <laughs> Fender does? Yeah. Are you a little sponsor from Fender? Yeah. I could use a, I could Thanks, use Fender. A, can I get a Jag from you? Thanks, you have guys. Extra Jaguar? I do actually have an extra Jaguar. An extra one? Yeah. I'll be backstage a little bit later to pick it up. You just I actually, the, song, the, the Jaguar I had for the first three years of the band, I destroyed once at a show. At the end of that first record cycle, I destroyed that guitar at the last show, and like it was a song. It was the one that I'd done everything for like the first three years of the band on, and then I meant to like sell it or give it away to charity or something. Except it's just sitting in my garage. At home. If you give it back to Fender, they'll kind of put it back together for you, and then you oh, auction it off. That's a good idea. You, was that videotaped? You destroying it? Um, it's probably on YouTube somewhere. It's, well, it's probably worth more now. Yeah, maybe that's like actually a good uh, idea. I should point, totally I'm do that for charity, huh? See, I'm a little bit that. annoyed that you would destroy a guitar on stage because it's, no, I'm joking. It's, just, it's such a rock. Star such thing a to pat do. thing to do, right? Ne next thing, all I need is like a heroin addiction and a model girlfriend. What's the MGMT line? We'll get models for wives and yeah, is it cocaine? That's cocaine, not heroin. Is yes. heroin too? It's uh, both. I think it's both of them. <laughs> or the both. Queens of the both. Stone Age line, which is right. uh, nicotine. What is it? Nicotine, morphine, what a la la la. Creatine. Qu but that's creatine. for weightlifters more. Yeah, creatine. Any of you weightlifters out there just laugh so hard. Everyone else was like, you're an idiot, Mikhail. And there's some science fiction guy <laughs> going, well, creatine was that planet in that weird yeah. movie about the, uh, the water. Actually, it's called unobtainium, and it's from <laughs> Avatar. It's not a real substance, but just representative of something that's not on the, on the periodic table. I am totally revealing my nerd nerdliness. This is so on rock and roll. Let me start over. <clears throat> yeah, man. So, uh, you got a you got a cigarette, right, let man. Me, let me ask cool. you this. So, uh, I never went to college. I hate it. Screw you, Dad. One thing that I pointed out in the air the other day, and I had five phone calls afterwards that we discussed this before. Your songs don't have the typical. Here's your chorus. Yeah. You yeah. write like Dylan. Yeah. In it's bare. Oh, that's it's, a nice it's, thing it's, to it's, say. It's a, well, it's the truth. It's, it's the narrative of what's going on, and then yeah. after the end of the story, people are just so hooked into it, and they're, you know, they fall in love with the whole concept. But or they're bored. Right? Do you do you have an alter <laughs> they're ego? They're like, stop, stop with the story. I get it, man. But do you have an alter ego that writes nothing but courses? <laughs> Apparently, Helen Back is nothing but a course. See, that's what, so, I, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Is there is there something that like <laughs> what is it that's out there in your life that said I got to do? this? Well, we are done with the record cycle, and the you know such hot blood is a really serious record about a lot of really serious things, and there's a whole orchestra playing and all these big songs about death and whatever. And I went on this motorcycle trip when we were done with the tour. It was really it was our biggest tour as a band ever. And then I was just bumping along in my motorcycle helmet going, no, 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 like an old jazz man. No, 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 no. I don't know why it was an old jazz man. I, was with, I always think that I'm going to have a, like a child someday, and he's going to sound like an old blues guy. He'll be like three years old, like, come on, daddy, let me get some milk. <laughs> Play that Helen Back song, so Daddy. Where, where were you in the riff first when when the hook first came to you? I was uh, actually, you know what? I was. I can tell you this. I remember very clearly. I was leaving Zion National Park on my Harley, and like, kind of, I'd gotten up early and went for a hike to the top of the rocks that make you feel like small, and you sit there and go, "My life is meaningless, but I should find meaning." Like that thing. I did a whole right. vision quest, and I was leaving, and I just started going. No, 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 like Pointer Sister style too, a little bit. Like it had, it definitely had like a hip shake right. in it. And then I went home and started messing around with keyboards. And was like, all right, this is this, this Did little you know crazy the key song. In your head? Did you know what song, what key it was in? I think it was actually originally uh, a step lower, and then I raised it because I wanted to be able to go head and back, <laughs> walk away from you. It's literally got like like one of the like you see these guys in the '60s and they got like the three girls in the dress going head and back. Yeah. Walk away from you. Like it's like kind of pointing a finger on the hip. So I have to ask this question. Which it really a isn't at all, by the way. It isn't at all. It's just in my mind that's what it is. It comes off probably sounding like indie rock, to be honest. But in my mind that's what it sounds. It sounds like, like that. It yeah. sounds like lame and sparkles. Right. Yeah. L <laughs> right. Not lame sparkles, but lame. lame. Like, so I was wondering if you were just like giving the Spanish pronunciation of lame. No, no. Like, You're no, an idiot. Like, 
You know what I'm talking about. La like, me. Those, those Your song is La me, Mikel. I, I, I have to. I do not like it. I have to ask you this then. A full face helmet, obviously. Uh, on the highway, I do, but around town sometimes. Um, but when you're writing the song, because you. Oh it, right, it, yeah, it, yeah, it for the song. It. Yeah, for sure, that's full a good face story helmet. Now. That's and a like story you now. know, I hit like hailstorms, and um, I got thrown off the bike at one point, and like messed my hands up, and then there was like it was like I ran, I rode across the Rockies on a kind of a small motorcycle, which is not something you really should do. There's like no other bikes right. out there. I'm gonna take a quick break. We're gonna continue this on the web. Yeah, okay. Uh, and we're gonna come back in a few moments, and we're gonna talk. Wait, can I, I give know. a shout out to all my cousins who live in San Diego? Yes. What's up, David, them. Logan, Cindy, Lefty, Smiley, Pope? How Pancho. you guys doing? Pancho, Sancho. All right, take care, dudes. Okay, see you tonight. Uncle Donnie, later. It's 91X.